Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today I've got another easy base addition in the form of this compact furnace tower. The requirements are on screen now, and this is an incredibly simple design that just requires a careful hand in placing the furnaces. So, without further ado, let's get started. I began with the base plate, the blueprint of which you saw a moment ago. It's a very simple design made from ceilings and pillars, but you can use foundations or fence foundations if you prefer. Next, we need to build up the walls. This is quite simple, you want to build around the middle section and outwards, leaving open tiles at the end of every wedge and square section. You'll then want to place door frames on the wedge sections and leave the squares open. I built the walls two tiles high, using ceilings to fill the gaps above the square segments. Next we'll move on to the roof. I built another set of two tile high walls with door frames on the second tile. I then used insulated wooden regular and wedge roof pieces to create a really simple roof design to cover the tower in a very simple fashion. Finally, I added door frames to the second tile of each square section and then use stairs to make the extending wedges accessible. To finish things up, it was of course time to decorate. As a build with no real living space, this is going to be quick and easy. I placed furnaces in each of the square alcoves, requiring very careful placement of those furnaces. As you can see, the window where you can place it is pretty small, so if you're in survival, crouching will probably make those smaller adjustments easier. In total, I place 6 furnaces, and this design works well for regular, improved, and I believe kiln furnaces too. I then added a brazier in the roof section to give the build some top lighting, almost like a beacon. I also added hanging braziers over each furnace, though any lit furnace within the tower will also emit a good amount of light. Finally, I used large chests in the wedge doorway sections. This is a little bit of a pain, as you can't place the chests perfectly on top of each other, so they do overhang slightly, but it's a convenient storage option. In total, I placed 18 chests, so you can store up to 810 stacks of items in this tower. And there we have it, we have finished off our furnace tower design. Of course, you do not have to stick to the material palette shown here, this is a really simple build to recreate, and as you can see from the examples on screen now, it should work for almost any style in the game. Thanks for watching, I've seen a couple of builds similar to this and I've always found that furnaces can be frustrating to fit into a build, so I wanted to build something that gives them an attractive and useful home. This build was really simple to design and even easier to construct. It's pretty cheap on the resource front and it gives your furnaces a nice place to sit away from your base that is convenient and streamlined. If you enjoyed that video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. The links to my Twitter, Discord, Patreon and various sponsored discounts are also available in the description below. As always, if you have suggestions for future content you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to become a member of the Coffee Cult by joining our Discord, and if you'd like to support the channel further, become an esteemed Coffee Cultist by joining us over on Patreon. As a patron, you'll get sneak peeks of new videos before they're uploaded, full-size blueprints, wallpapers in both 1080p and 4k resolutions, discord rolls and more. On that note, a massive thanks to all of our esteemed coffee cultists on screen now for continuing to support the channel. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.